Welcome to episode 3 of the Ramadan series and today we're making Araiz, these amazing, super easy meat pockets. As usual, you'll find the full recipe in the caption. We're gonna start off by grating an onion, then add that to our ground lamb with garlic, an egg, and our spices. We've got sumac, cinnamon, coriander, cumin, black pepper, and salt, and some parsley. Give that a mix, then grab your flatbread and open them up like this, then spread an even layer of the meat inside. I like to add cheese in mine, but this is by no means necessary necessary or authentic. After that, all you gotta do is get your arais in a pan to get the meat cooked and you're done. I think these are so perfect for iftar because they're so easy to throw together and they taste delicious. This is Ramadan recipes where I'll be cooking 30 recipes for 30 days of fasting and today we're making these pull apart chicken tikka sliders. I'm using chicken breast, you could also use chicken thigh. Coat your chicken in the chicken tikka spice mix that's written in the caption then cook all the way through before adding red onions and peppers. Assemble your buns into a baking dish. I recommend using brioche rolls for this, they're just superior in my opinion. Brush with garlic butter, then add a layer of cheese. I'm using Edam here. Top with spoonfuls of that chicken, some spring onions and jalapenos, then top with more cheese, and this time I'm using Emmental. I love this cheese because when it melts, it gets so stringy and gooey and delicious. Bake until it's melted and there you have a pull apart meal to share with your family for iftar. Ramadan day 2 and this is why I ate for iftar. First up, something refreshing, I made some granola and Greek yogurt bowls, cheese board, a pasta salad. For the mains we had lasagna and lamb chops. These lamb chops were so delicious and the lasagna was so creamy and cheesy. On the side we had cheese and onion pastry, potato wedges, cheesy garlic bread and some chicken tenders and pakoras. Welcome to Ramadan recipes, this is day 10 and I'm making chicken pastries. Start off by melting around 200 grams of butter in a hot pan. Add spring onions and your chicken and saute that all up. Once sauteed, add your salt, paprika, garlic, cayenne pepper and some chilli. Cook that for 2 minutes and turn off your heat and add 4 tablespoons of flour to thicken up your mixture. After this, add 250ml of milk, some cheese and mix that all in. Roll out your pastry sheet and then fold it to see where you should cut it up. I used around medium slices. Add your cooled down chicken mixture to the bottom of your pastry slices. Egg wash the corner of your slices so when you fold it over, it will stick properly. Lucky for me, my camera wasn't focused, but all you need to do is fold it over and seal it. And just stick some holes in the top. Do a final egg wash of the pastries, then stick it in the oven for 200 degrees for around 20 minutes. Or until golden brown, just like this. These chicken and cheese pastries will change your life. If you want to make a foolproof, easy and simple and delicious cake recipe for this Ramadan, please make this milk cake recipe. It requires no baking and it's a really simple hack. All you have to do is get hold of some Madeira cake and cut thick slices, lay them out into a tray. You can buy a huge cake from any Asian shop. Then I'm going to combine all these milks together and cook them on the hob for a while with a bit of flavouring. You want to add the bay leaf, cinnamon stick and cardamom seeds to replicate that rasmalai flavour or just to replicate the chai flavour without the tea. You cook this through on the hob to get the full flavour out of it and it thickens the milk mix so it becomes sticky when it sets into the cake. So it's not just a wet cake. Then as a typical Asian, get tons of cream and whip that up to put on the topping. You don't need too much icing sugar for this because it balances out from the sweet then cake. Then get some toasted almonds or pistachios and chop those up. If you have rose petals, put those on top too. You can spoon on or spread on the cream. You don't have to pipe it at all whatsoever. It looks really good either way. It's not the healthiest of desserts, but if you want to host for huge parties, this will go down really well. I hope you enjoy. Bye. Dan series called What's for Iftar. This is where we show you 10 must try recipes that will make your friends and family fall in love with you this Ramadan. To kick off this series, we're starting off with our cheesy butter chicken bread rolls. These were such a hit in my house and my dad's literally been begging me to make them again. To make your bread rolls pillowy and soft, you're going to start off with making a tangzhong, which is just a Chinese brew. After you're going to bloom your yeast in a bowl with some warm milk and sugar, then you're going to add the tangzhong that you made earlier and your yeast mixture into a bowl with some flour, salt, butter, milk and eggs. I chose to use a stand mixer, but you can also do 
do so by hand and I've done so plenty of times. Once done, cover your dough and leave in a warm place for 30 minutes to an hour. And then we are moving on to my favorite part, the butter chicken. And I know some of you are probably thinking, why not just have butter chicken for iftar? Well, why not have something that's elevated? To make your butter chicken, you're gonna saute some onions in a pan with your seasonings, which are in the caption below. If I didn't mention before, hi, my name's Amir and I run this page with my sister, JJ. At this point, JJ also wanted to add Maggie, but I told her we're not making jollof rice, so it's a no from me. After frying your onions, garlic and seasonings with your cashews in a pan, you're going to lower your heat and add some passata and some cream. I kid you not, the smells coming from this pan made my stomach grumble and we weren't even fasting that day. Bend your sauce to get a smooth consistency and then add back into a pan with some butter. Allow your sauce to cool fully before adding on top of a layer of cheese when filling your rolls. If you don't want this to turn out a disaster, make sure to pinch in your dough tightly to seal in your filling. When out of the oven, garnish with some garlic butter and ask your family if they're in love with you after trying them. Since we've given up Lotus Biscoff this Ramadan, let's make a pistachio cheesecake. Start by crushing some biscuits and adding some melted butter, press that into the tin and set it in the fridge. In a bowl, add cream cheese, double cream, icing sugar and pistachio cream, whisk that together and then spread that over the biscuit layer, set it aside in the fridge for a few hours to set. Once it's ready, take it out of the tin, decorate with some melted pistachio cream, crushed pistachios and enjoy! These chicken tikka wraps are a must try for your next iftar. Starting with your sauce, in a blender add all of the ingredients listed on the screen. If you want it spicier, add more jalapeno. Then to your bowl of chicken breasts, you are going to add the seasonings on screen. Food coloring is optional, basically it's just for aesthetic purposes. Mix it together and then heat it for about 10-15 to 15 minutes. On some naan bread, go ahead and spread the sauce that you made. Add your chicken to the top and sprinkle with some fresh herbs. Enjoy!